Hey everyone, it's Audrey, and I'm just gonna get right into my houseplant tour. Over the years, I've just continued to collect them to decorate my apartment with, and I guess it's become a hobby of mine to take care of them. I still have a lot to learn, but here are the plants I've managed to keep alive. Starting off, this is Planty. I don't name all of my plants, but this is a heartleaf philodendron that I've had since 2017 that I grew from a much smaller size, so I figured it deserved a name. Not to be confused with the pothos plant, uh, they look really similar, but generally philodendrons tend to have thinner leaves and stems, whereas pothos leaves tend to be larger and sturdier. This is my favorite plant. Uh, it's around six feet tall at this point, way taller than I am, and I've propagated it so many times that I have several of these around the apartment. And in case you're unfamiliar with plant propagation, that basically means making new plants from your existing ones. So here above my counter, I have a shelf where I do exactly that. Most of these are hydroponic plants, so they'll grow and develop a root system in just nutrient-rich water, no soil needed, but some of them I'll move or I'll pot in soil anyway once the roots are developed enough and place them in different areas. A lot of my plants are just smaller versions I've made from my larger, older ones. Moving on to my workspace area, I like to have a lot of green surrounding me. I just feel happier looking at it. On the left side of my window is my prayer plant, just as old as my philodendron, and I've had to change the size of its pot a few times since it's grown so big. What I love most about this plant is its leaves. I find the pattern incredibly beautiful, also gives me the prettiest little flowers. The leaves also kind of stay flat during the day, and then at night fold up like prayer hands, which is where it gets its name. On the other side of my desk is what I like to call my plant wall. This is the spot that gets the most light in the apartment, so I tend to move my pots to this spot pretty often. It just depends. This fern to the right of my lamp is a maiden hair fern, and it's probably the most temperamental plant I have. I have to water this every day because I hear that drying out is pretty much a death sentence. Mine is only maybe six months old, but it's been going strong, so I'm pretty happy about that. Above that is my pothos plant, also called Devil's Ivy, and it's called that because supposedly it's impossible to kill. I've had this for a long while, so I definitely believe that. A few of these I propagated myself, but this is my biggest one really easy to care for in my opinion. A lot like my philodendron, I water it maybe once a week and they can tolerate low light pretty well. Next to that is one of the propagated philodendrons I mentioned earlier. And then next to that is my spider plant. I want to say this one is two years old. I recently changed its pot and I think it's doing okay. Another really easy plant to care for. On the floor to the left is my rattlesnake plant. And this is my husband's favorite plant, so he named it Kali after its scientific name. Just like my prayer plant, I've changed its pot over the years and it's grown like three times its size since I've gotten it. The colors of this plant I love. Uh, really into that bright and dark green contrast. 
To the right of this is a newer plant of mine. I used to have a butterfly lily here, but I think its flowers were giving me an allergic reaction, so I replaced it with this glossy leaf paper plant. Still trying to figure this one out. Uh, some of the leaves are starting to wilt a bit, so if you have any tips for this one, please let me know, uh, because I'd really like for this one to thrive. Making our way into, I guess, the entryway. Uh, I only have two things here because it's such a dark corner. Right by the door is my only fake plant. Uh, this is a plastic fiddle leaf fig. I've always loved the look of this tree, but I just don't think it would work for my living situation. So in the meantime, I just have this fake one. The second plant in this area is a baby rubber plant uh, that I've had for almost two years. Making this video, I realize it hasn't really grown that much, so I'm probably going to move it to a bigger pot soon. But it's done pretty well in this low light area with a once a week watering session. Kind of reminds me of a succulent. On the other side of the room, under that propagation shelf, I have three plants there right now. First, my money tree. Uh, I got this two years ago, and supposedly it brings luck and prosperity. I moved this by the window where my desk is at one point, but the sun was starting to scorch the leaves, so I moved it back and it's starting to grow again. Definitely better where there's not much sunlight. Under this is a medallion prayer plant I've had for a couple of years. It's like a cross between my other prayer plant and Cali. The leaves have this almost brush-like deep green pattern on top and a dark fuchsia underside. Really interesting to look at, at least I think so. The weather's been kind of cold and dry, so it has a couple brown spots. I think I need to water it a bit more often. Past the bar stools is my Kentia palm, and this is the most expensive plant I have. I'm used to paying like five to ten dollars for my plants at the flea market, and this one was like ten times that. I was really persistent, got this when I rearranged the apartment at the end of 2019. When the leaves are healthy, it's this deep green color, uh, but I have noticed some brown spots and dried out leaves as it grows, so I try to mist it pretty often. I think it's doing all right, but we'll see. In the kitchen, I move plants in and out of here, but right now all I have is another one of my pothos plants. Just got a new hanging pot for it. A basil plant for cooking. and my string of pearls succulent. I got this bag when I went to the Long Beach Antique Market last year, and usually I can't keep this plant alive for anything. It's grown quite a bit, though some of the pearls are dried out. I don't know, send me tips for this one because I'd really appreciate it. Almost forgot, I have a small plant on my coffee table that used to be in the bathroom, but I wanted to see it more often, so I moved it here. I'm not gonna try to say the name, but this one's really cool. Just a little plant that sort of looks like an alien. Okay, so bathroom. Plants are also in and out of here when I'm watering them in the shower, but there's a few I just keep in here all the time. On the windowsill, I have a prayer plant I propagated from my bigger one, a zebra plant, and this is the one that used to be on my coffee table, but I think it's happier here and a burrow's tail succulent that I think was one of the first really tiny plants I ever bought. I haven't moved it to a bigger pot yet, so it's still pretty small. Above the toilet is a little macrame plant holder, and I think this is a ripple jade succulent. I'm not 100% sure. This is one of those flea market plants that I just kind of picked up because I thought it looked cool. And then on my skincare shelf is another propagated philodendron. Lastly, I have a few plants on the balcony. Honestly, these aren't doing so well. First is a golem jade. I think this one is about a year old and it hasn't done well inside, so I'm trying to keep it outside. Uh, this one is an aloe vera. And the other is a pencil cactus, or known as a fire stick plant. Due to the fact that it's toxic, and if the sap gets in your eyes, it burns and you can possibly go blind. So I'd definitely be careful with this one. So that is going to be it for all my current house plants. I'll probably add more as the years go by, but I'm happy with what I have right now. 
If you have any questions or advice for me, please let me know. Or if you're interested in a detailed plant care video, I can also share that. Hope you enjoyed or found it helpful at the very least. And thank you for watching. Thank you.